the podcast for today, I would just I just want to ask real quick, how much would it take for you to promote Planned Parenthood? How much would it take for you to basically, you know, claim uh, that you are a believer and you choose to support Planned Parenthood? Just out of curiosity. So that's my question towards this guy, Damian Harris. So before I provide context, um, my take on it, what the Bible has to say, all these things, you know, I do want to preface on a few things. First of all, I am not wailing on Damian Harris by any means. I am not crapping on him. I My earnest prayer and hope is that he repents and that he honestly, you know, has a change of heart and a view if he is a true believer, or not if he is a true believer. If he is a believer, I pray and hope that he repents for what he did. Most of you know my stance on abortion, and I am pro-life. I don't enforce my beliefs upon someone. I don't um, shame people who have had an abortion. I don't shame people who, who plan on having an abortion, okay? So I, I do want to make that clear. So the thing about this podcast, today's episode, isn't so much pro-life versus pro-choice. You know, anyone who is not a Christian who, you know, you don't understand or you don't agree with my views on, on, on a biblical scale, I understand and that's why I approach things with a, with a form of love and, and, and a view that I try to explain things thoroughly as to why I believe in what I believe in. Here's my issue though, however. A few days ago, a football player who I guess he also sucks apparently, his name's Damian Harris, he publicly posted and supports um, the woman, a woman's right to choose to murder an infant or their baby um, through abortion. And he, he pro posted, he says he supports it, whatever. I'll, I'll get on, on to the specifics in a second on that. And so I just want to make one thing clear. My issue, right, is it's not pro-life versus pro-choice. Yes, that is, that is a thing that I carry. I am pro-life. My issue, though, is when you claim to be a Christian and you are supporting um, the right to choose to murder an infant or a baby within a woman who is pregnant, that's where I draw the line. That's where it's an issue because then it goes to show, okay, what other exceptions can we make as a Christian? You know, um, can we be Christian and also be a gay couple? Can we be, be a Christian and, you know, still have sex outside of marriage? You know, and so that's my issue is the promotion with the sin, the promotion to think it's okay to murder a child. So we're going to get onto that in a second. But before I do, you know, if I, if you guys could just subscribe if you're on YouTube, if you could uh, follow us if you're on Spotify, if you could follow us on Apple Podcasts, we very much appreciate it. It helps out with the algorithm. And honestly, for YouTube as well, uh, if you're on YouTube right now, comment down below if you're pro-life or if you're pro-choice. Honestly, you know, whether you oppose or agree with me, I just want to know, do you, do you support um, the right to choose abortion or do you support the pro-life movement? Um, you know, regardless, I, I genuinely just want to know. Where do you stand with abortion? Pro-life, pro-choice, comment down on YouTube. Okay, so there's a couple things that are contradicting, okay? Um, and like I said, I don't have anything against Damien Harris, but I do have against, you know, what I do have against is the ideology and the thought process behind some of the things that he said, some of the things that he's posted, some of the things that he promotes. So Damien Harris is a black man. And the reason why I'm pointing that out is for contextual reasons on the foundations of Planned Parenthood. So Planned Parenthood was found by Margaret Sanger. She started Planned Parenthood with the intention of targeting two specific people groups, black people and people with disabilities. You know, if you had autism, if you were gonna be born with an arm, if you had a Down syndrome, any sort of thing that is seen as a disability, she would come after you. She would wanna target that kind of people. So black people and, ple and people with disabilities. So what I want to say is, is factually accurate. It is supported with data, which I do want to provide the links below as well. If you're on YouTube, I think Spotify will be able to and Apple Podcasts as well. 79% of Planned Parenthoods are located in minority neighborhoods. More than 16 million black, not all babies, black babies have died from abortion since 1973. Approximately 360,000 pre-born black babies die every year on average every year due to abortion like i said the links towards that information will be down below here's context on abortion from a biblical point of view if you look at psalm 139 verse 13 it says for you formed my inward parts you knitted me together in my mother's womb proverbs 24 11, rescue those who are being taken away to death hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter Proverbs 31 8, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Babies cannot speak. 
Babies cannot literally defend themselves. Babies cannot escape the womb and go run. Babies don't even know how to run. Okay. So, so the Bible makes it clear to defend those who cannot defend themselves on all aspects, but especially and clearly specifically babies. And so that's my issue here with Damien Harris is his support to murder, you know, to give the, the woman a right to choose to murder an infant. So Damien Harris posted on his Instagram, I think it was on his Twitter too, the statement of thankful for the opportunity to represent PP Advocacy MA and to support women across America in the fight against the regulation of their bodies. And then here's, here's my favorite part, hashtag her body, her choice. So you don't have the right to regulate what a woman does with her body. You do not. I want to make that clear. But a woman has 10 fingers, 10 toes, one heart, two eyes, one nose. It does not have four eyes, four ears, two mouths, two hearts, 10 or 20, 20 toes, 20 fingers. What a woman has within her system when she's pregnant is a baby, is a living being. You do not have the right to to say what you can do with that human being because that does not differentiate, you know, if you choose to to have a late term abortion post birth or whatever the case may be. You do not have a right. A woman has one heart, two eyes, 10 toes, 10 fingers. And so like I said, if you're pro choice and you're not a believer, you know, this isn't targeted towards you. I, I don't agree with with pro choice. But my approach is different from someone who claims to be a believer and is choosing to, to support that ideology. And here's why. As a believer, you cannot justify sin with sin. In other, what, in other words, you cannot say, oh, I'm pregnant. I want to abort my kid. And then, you know, say, oh, it's okay. God can forgive you. God will whatever. Is that true? Yes, that is true. God will forgive you. But to to have an effect or a, or a mindset of of predetermined, oh, I know I'm going to sin, but it's okay. God is going to is going to uh, forgive me is not true repentance at all. And that is what Damien Harris here thinks is okay. He thinks it's okay. Why why is it that he thinks it's okay for a woman to choose to murder a child and he can't point someone to a center or a program that helps pregnant single women? Why does he have to go to the route of murdering a baby, of murdering an infant? Why why does he think that's okay? So honestly, Damien, if you're watching this or you know anyone who's listening right now, how much did you get paid for, for to post that? Just, just out of curiosity, was it five? Was it ten? Was it twenty k? How much did you get paid to post that and support um, this organization that that was founded on on racism? You know, to be fair, and that's something you support as a black man. Just wondering, how how much do they how much do they do they post or how much do they do they pay you to post that to to support that? And like I said, my issue, my secondary issue is yes, pro life versus pro choice. My primary issue with this though is the exception for sin, the exception to murder one thing that the bible makes very clear thou shall not murder literally one of the 10 commandments and yet he's supporting that it's contradicting because he's he's saying that the narrative is oh it's okay to murder a baby but that contradicts what you believe in as a professing christian here's another fun fact he's one of those guys who also you know is very vocal about the whole blm nonsense you know and and he's talking about he likes to talk and tweet about how you know, black people get mistreated, how, you know, the system's unfair and this, this and that. He like, he prides himself on how, how, how he's a black man and all this stuff. And yet he's supporting a institution that was founded on racism towards black people specifically. That is pretty contradicting. And on top of that, he claims to be a Christian, yet he's supporting murdering as well. So Damien, congratulations. You knocked out two birds with one stone. You knocked out, um, you know, just the idea of, of supporting a program that was founded on racism and you support murder as a Christian. So good for you, man. He talks about being a believer and yet the Bible makes it clear that there is no justification for murder by any means, um, especially from the womb. Pretty contradicting. As a believer, we are to support women through love. What that looks like is pointing them to the right resources, helping out in the beginning stages of their pregnancy, you know, showing them the love of Christ through your actions, connecting them to a, to a church, sharing the love of Jesus, not saying, oh, I'm going to support you by, you know, having an abortion. That's pretty contradicting. Once again, as a believer, we don't support a woman by praising or celebrating the fact that there was an abortion or praising or celebrating of oh, the right to choose. We support a woman by providing 
and by by showing the love of Christ and not just providing, protecting a woman as well. John 13, 35 makes it clear as well. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. First John chapter three, verse 18, little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. So it's saying to love in truth and to love also through your deeds, through your actions, through what you do. And here's another thing too, on how the Bible, you know, literally opposes what this man is doing it makes it very clear matthew 6 24 no one can serve two masters for, for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other you cannot serve god and money james 4 4 you adulterous people do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with god therefore whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of god and so remember it's not the fact that you approach people in a friendly way because remember, Jesus has many titles, and one of those titles is Jesus, friend of sinners. That's not what the the James is talking about in regards to friendship, you know, with the world. What it's saying is supporting and and being friends in a sense of, oh, you know, you're sinning, you're doing this, this, and that, but it's okay. You keep doing you. It's okay. I, I support that. I, I'm friends with that. And that's what this man is doing, is supporting, once again, the right to choose, which is contradicting, once again, because he couldn't stand his, his foot ground or excuse me, he couldn't stand his foot to the ground and say, no, I'm not going to support, I'm not going to partake in this. We need more people like Gina Carano, Jonathan Isaac, Jordan Peterson, Joe Rogan, Candace Owens, people who are willing to say no, or at least, you know, have a, a logical side, you know, a side to which you're not partaking in the woke ideology. And clearly that's what this man, Damian Harris did. Once again, I'm not shaming Damian Harris. Um, my issue is when you're a professing believer, and and especially with someone who has a platform, that's an issue because you're 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 supporting, you're conforming, you're you're abiding to the things of this world, and that's not what we're called to do as Christians. Romans twelve twenty two: Do not conform to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. That's my issue. Is is because that's incredibly dangerous. Because if you're willing to accept this narrative, what other sins and what other narratives are you okay with doing? You know, and, and, and then claiming in the name of Jesus, you know, to be a follower, to be a disciple or whatever. And see, that's the issue with modern day, with some modern day Christians and some of the modern day churches is that we're not willing to, we're not willing to stand firm. We're, we're not willing to say no because of cancel culture and stuff. But remember, the first group of people who were persecuted for their faith was those who introduced the faith to people, who introduced Christianity. So why are you concerned you are to be brave you are to be, and, and look it's it's normal to have fear and to be to you know be afraid and so that's the issue here is not standing your foot on the ground firming and saying no not opposing the system because of course everything this world does everything this world is opposes what our god wants what god wants and so that's an that's an issue that's that's a scary issue i'm not saying like oh you're always going to be brave you're always going to be cool you know there are times of fear for everyone there are times to be afraid. I understand that. But when you're in a, in, a, in a form, in a way where you have a platform and you're encouraging that kind of garbage instead of saying no, instead of saying firm, instead of growing a sack, that's an issue. That is a huge issue. And you see, this is my issue with modern day, with some modern day Christians is that, oh, praise Jesus this, praise Jesus that, but you're not willing to fully submit, fully, fully conform. Because you're too concerned about your career, your money, your status. You're concerned about people hating. You're concerned about being quote unquote canceled. The disciples were canceled. The disciples were screwed. You can you can you can try to deplatform someone. You can try to cancel their 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 money. You can try to do all these things, but the one person that you cannot cancel is Jesus Christ Himself. It's as simple as that. His word will stand firm. His word will stand firm. And so it, it, it annoys me when people are supposed to be submitting to the things of God and of the, not of this world, but you're in the, you know, your concern of losing everything, even though Jesus calls us to lose and to let go and to fully submit to him and to fully trust him. And so that's my issue with Damian Harris is the cowardly act of supporting, you know, pro, pro the, the right to choose instead of doing opposite, instead of finding foundations or, or areas or, or organizations that support pregnant women through their time of crisis.
by not only letting the baby live, but also sharing the love of Jesus. That's my issue. Because again, I've said this a couple of times, but I'm going to say it again. If we're willing to accept this, if we're willing to support this, then what other sin, what other unapologetic sins are we willing to do? Are we willing to accept? This is just one of many. This is just one of many cowards who, who can't say no. And so that's why this channel exists. That's why this podcast exists. It's to have great conversations, yes, but it's also to talk about contradicting things that some Christians don't have the balls to do. My prayer for Damien Harris, sincerely, I, 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 I truly mean this when I say this, is that he would repent and that he would, he would I, don't, I don't know where he stands with his salvation. I'm not one to question people's salvations. I'm not, that's not my job. That's God's job. But my prayer and hope for Damien Harris truly is to repent of this nonsense and to move forward and to 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 just keep going forward and, and keep following christ sincerely i don't hate the guy i don't dislike the guy but i don't agree with this guys if you want more content uh just in general more podcasts whatever the case may be um i would ask if you could subscribe on youtube if you could follow us on spotify if you could follow us on apple Podcasts, i would very much appreciate it it would, it would mean a lot and help out with the algorithms and it keeps us moving forward as well it keeps us you know continuing to grow if you're if you have instagram follow us on instagram at bogan everywhere podcast i would very much appreciate it once again if you're on youtube i would highly appreciate seriously you know regardless of how you feel regardless of opposition if you're on youtube comment down below are you pro-life are you pro-choice i would love to hear and also i would like to know why you're pro-life or pro-choice not just say oh i'm this i'm that honestly why are you pro-life pro-choice i would appreciate it and with that said, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. Awesome, blessed day. Take care.